Alright, we've got the dust collection and the router going. Uh, we've got... This is May 16th to 2020. Uh, we're going to start this guy. So we've got the motor speed slowed down a little now. Uh, we can look at that a little later. Uh, we used to run it faster and it slowed it down just to have more conservative cuts. Uh, we're in a, a shared community workshop here at the Makerspace. So we wanted something a little more, uh, a little more reliable, bomb proof. Uh, while that's running, uh, I ran this job last night. Uh, I ran it 12 times uh, in the same position without moving anything, uh, just to confirm that uh, our Z-axis uh, was behaving correctly. Uh, that's the problem we were uh, dealing with last week. Uh, I ran 12 times. About halfway through, I wrote these numbers in, and you can see I didn't even smudge them the next uh, three or four passes that it made on that. Uh, the construction is on uh, aluminum extrusions, two by four inch, uh, with steel rails, and V-bearings riding on the rails, top and bottom. The Z-axis uses a lead screw. And again, uh, bearings with the uh, steel rails using a Hitachi router for the tool. Uh, the X and Y axes use um, uh, rack and pinion um, drives with stepper motors. I forget the rating, uh, I think something like 400 inch pounds, 450 inch pounds with a geared reduction down to the pinion. Um, there's not a whole lot more to say really. It's been a real sturdy unit. It's got a welded steel base. It's uh, just indestructible. The whole base is a single piece. So if you're going in a garage, uh, it'll go right in. It's on casters and has retractable feet for leveling and um, uh, stability. If you're bringing it in through a door, it was designed around that consideration. And the rails will unbolt from the supports. So everything from here up can come off. This is just under 32 inches tall. So you can get this machine through a 32 inch door. Um, the width from this motor to the other motor on the other side is 77 inches, a little under 77 inches. Uh, and I forget the height, but it's um, about five and a half feet. The, uh, this rail is the maximum length and it's exactly 10 feet. Um, and there's uh, room here. If you wanted to put a fourth axis, it will support that. Uh, we. The router will come out over this area and you can put a fourth axis to do columns or, uh, uh, you know, work like that. Uh, we got our job going here. It's cranking right along. Uh, and that's about it. Um, this has been at the Create Now Makerspace for a bunch of years and a whole bunch of people have used it. And uh, we would love to see it go to another home, either here in Lexington or nearby. Thanks, have a safe day. Stay safe, folks.